Hello everyone, I'm Senior Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Hearts of Iron 4, playing as Anarchist Spain. So, right now, this isn't exactly where we left off, as you can tell, because we have a new focus we can choose, but it's pretty much like five days, six days after where we left off last time, just because I wanted to see if I could hold a towel, which I'll show you in a little bit, but first, we're going to go with Freedom of Thought. Hmm. New Way of Warfare. Let's do that. So, the bravery of our infantry is beyond doubt. But the realities of war have moved far beyond what infantry can surmount. We must begin development of new machines of warfare both on land and in the skies to defend our commune. So, what I'm talking about is that I was trying to hold this tile over here, and I think even this tile too. It didn't exactly work out, but it's okay for now. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and rearrange this just a little bit. Um, you guys, I don't know, just... I'll be honest, I've tried this a little earlier. It didn't work out so well. So, this is my attempt number two at what we're doing. Why the hell are you attacking? Don't attack. Because, oh, also, I think I did, yep, this desperate defense, which gives us more defense and entrenchment speed, and I'm pr purchasing firearms. That is the last thing that I can think of for us to do well besides get mobile defense, which is good. Uh, I always do integrated support. Let's do that. We need a lot of guns. We definitely need a lot of guns. Oh god, oh god, please, don't, don't, give up. We need about a week. There's about, there's an impending Catalonia offensive. Send these two divisions this way. They should be able to help defend there a little easier. Uh, but, let's see. 148,000 losses. Not bad, not bad. But, yeah, I keep losing more tiles. I've kept losing more tiles, which is not bueno. Absolutely not bueno. Alright, not bad, not bad. Hmm. Still no stability. Oh, buy this. No stability, that's okay. I have three factories. That's, I guess, all we need. Definitely, uh, you know, that tower might need help, but, um, definitely the one that's red. Please help out, for the love of God, please. Oh, 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 crud. Oh, boy, that's not good. Um, desperate defense? I don't know. Or, no, that's last stand. Give him a last stand for now so he can get that division in here. Oh, crud. Crud, 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 crud. You gotta hold. Hold, hold, hold. They're casualties. They're just skyrocketing now. Which we like. But my gosh. Like, we can't afford this. Take you two. Come over here. Because the center of the line is starting to... Kind of collapsed a little bit. Oh god, we lost that tile. God dang it. I hate trying to fight this every time. Like, it's almost impossible. Like, I know it's historical, but this is really difficult. I mean, this is insanely difficult. Look at all the divisions they have and all the help and support they have from other nations. That's honestly too much. But then again, it is historical, so. And they're definitely paying for it. For all these gains that they want to get. Hmm. Let's go grab some more guns if we can. Good. I think the modifier for our defense is probably over. Good. They're stopped attacking down here, which is good. So it gives our guys a little bit of a rest. Dig in a little bit more if they're not already. Which they should be. Yeah, they're mostly all dug in. We lost it against the river. And you guys... You're getting attacked by 13 divisions. There's 8 of you guys here. And you can pierce the enemy. Huh. Good. Ah, new wave of warfare. Good. Communal strategies, communal military strategies, we remove disbanded army, which we'll look in a little bit, and we get some more daily army XP gains. So, organizing large-scale warfare while remaining true to the tenets of anarchism is a great challenge. It is also one that we must rise to meet, as without it, all that we fight for is lost. And then we can buy more guns, which we can't exactly sustain since we only get 0.6 stability a day. So, yeah, definitely struggling. But right now, at least at the moment, it looks okay. This tile's probably going to be a problem. Oh, buy more guns. Bye, 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 bye. 4,600 deficit, which isn't too bad. I really don't want to lower my uh, artillery because I know we need more military factories, but at the same time, hmm. Anyone have upgrades? Please? Yes? No? No? Okay. Keep holding, guys. Keep inflicting mass... We're out of 300,000 already. Holy cow. I'm not going to get that just because I can't afford that. It's 1939. 
Uh, dispersed industry is good. I uh, definitely don't want to see that I can upgrade stuff, so... Oh, we have no dockyards either. Those are all garbage ships. Oh, what does this button do? Oh, it just gives them a new name. Oh, that's kind of cool. Let me do that. Uh, do that. This won't even matter. Someday, maybe we'll make an Air Force. But today, or this year, will not be that time. Bring over this division, because this division can hold out pretty darn well. Radio detection. Not bad. That could be useful. Raise the cap a little bit. Send another division that way. Can we get more guns yet? No. A week. We have a week. Keep holding out, guys. Keep holding out. You're doing okay. We're doing okay-ish. The center line is actually doing okay, which is kind of nice having a little break in the line. Yeah, they're getting attacked a little bit, but they can actually hold pretty well. So that's actually kind of good. So if Spain ever gets into a civil war again, Catalonia is definitely going to be a hotbed of activity if it's not already. Ooh, Catalonia. Hmm, always wanting to be independent. Ooh, actually send one of you guys this way as well. That should help defend that territory pretty nicely. We are defending in mountains, so that does definitely help. But... Oh, you're just kind of hanging out, which is fine. We don't need any. You don't. We don't need you anywhere at the moment. But I'm glad. Oh, Czechoslovakia's gone. But I'm also glad that we can at least hold out for the most part in at least temporarily in Catalonia, because even though this is our, this is literally our home, our deficit of guns is not getting too high. Oh boy. Oh boy. And they're just. Over 420,000. Jesus. How much more manpower? They gotta have enough manpower, right? Oh, what did they Expand. Oh, they went. Expand conscription. Carlism. Methodical approach. Yeah, they're gonna have a lot of manpower that we're gonna have to kill off. Uh oh. We're struggling down here. That's not good. Uh, we can probably send maybe three divisions down here to help out, perhaps? What I'm really waiting for at this point is for Germany to go to war, so to get rid of those German divisions. Pull out German support, pull out Italian support. Not really properly Portuguese support. But let's go and do maintaining the fire so we get to freedom of thought. So, weariness of war is a herald of downfall. We must remain strong and re reinvigorate in the people the fire that drives them to do the utmost. Oh, goodness. I know we don't have that much intelligence on these guys. They basically have just like, you know, a minimal amount. But, uh... Okay, we actually have enough intelligence that we know that they have up to 75 divisions. And a quarter million manpower. And two to four special forces. Huh. I didn't know that. But we're still holding. We're still we're kind of injured in some areas. That's okay. 3,000 gun deficit. But then keep attacking us. Keep attacking, keep attacking, keep attacking. Oh, God. Oh, you have an upgrade. Buena Ventura. Um, that's okay. Using general traits for field marshals probably isn't really worth it. So we're going to wait. Janos, this is definitely worth it. Um, I need to attack it sometime. And you already have it. more defense, more max entrenchment. <sighs> just go do ambusher just in case. Just in case. Anyone over here? Level 5 defense, that's pretty nice. Linya. Uh-oh. Someone retreated. Let them go on as fast as possible. Wait for the start of World War II. We've lost 150,000 people, which... It's not easy to replace that. We do get a thousand manpower weekly, which is good, but they've lost over half a million now. Oh, okay. That's not bad. That's not bad. Can we buy more guns? We, this is pretty much probably going to be the last purchase of guns we'll be able to do for a while. But it's June 2nd. 2,200 guns in de deficit, which is actually not too bad. Uh, you know what? I'd like to make this, but I prefer these smaller divisions for now. That's more important. Just Jesus. I'm glad at least we can defend an Aragon. That's important. Italy, join the Axis. Good. Good. The Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Awesome. My goodness, they're just attacking so hard. But I can't, I can't do anything if they have uh, German tanks there. Or Italian tanks or whatever. Ooh, more organization for this stuff. Overwhelming fire. That's good. That's good. Wait, is that... How do... Holy... Oh, because with the purchase guns, you have a 0% chance to get guns from France. <clears throat> but we have a 60% chance of getting an extra 1,000 guns from someone else, like Sweden, Germany, Italy, 
which doesn't make any sense, but uh, whatever. So we must have gotten at least 2,000 guns to help that deficit. So we should be good for at least a good little bit. Artillery. Oh, I don't want to do this. I really don't want to do this. Can I lower you by one? I can't. I really need another gun here. Maintaining the fire. That's good. Oh, we can't do that? Oh, we need, oh crow. We need more than 50 factories. Portuguese anarchism. <clears throat> I'm about to be very limited by what I can do. So, I'm going to go and do shared burdens only 35 days. So, the fight for freedoms from authoritarianism, capitalism, and religious superstitions will be long and hard, like other things. We must all do our part in carrying the leader hardships, carrying the hardships that no doubt await us before we can even reap the rewards of our labor. And after that, we'll be pretty much out of uh, focuses for a while. Because... Maybe I should have put this on a historical. That might have been a little bit easier, to be honest with you. <laughs> Putting this on a historical first, but whatever. Let's see. I like we've established before. I can't extract anything, so that's all waste, wasted. Uh, get some better engineers, more entrenchment. Yeah, that sounds good. They're still defeating some of our soldiers. Whatever. At this point, I think we have a pretty solid defense. Their divisions are looking pretty darn weak. Uh, yeah. I mean, they're they're not terrible divisions. I don't know what battle plan or land auction National Spain has gone, though. Let's go and buy another thing of guns. That'll be important. I'm really glad we got this guy, though. Or this commune. The council. Because that... Oh, God. That's really helped out. Let's see. That's not bad. Defense on core territory. More speed. The international brigades are definitely helping us out, which is really awesome. Spain. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. No red, which is good. More max planning. To surrender. I mean, they keep throwing guys at us. They must be... They literally must be, like, mobilizing more and more manpower. So, which is okay. Which is why their manpower is not going down. Honestly, any of this stuff is okay. But building stuff up makes no sense. So, basically, we're gonna, not going to have a focus for now. So, it gives us actually quite a bit more time to get a lot more guns. Which is actually pretty good. And buy more guns. Now, we're so close to not having a deficit. Oh, my God. But we're still defeated in some areas. Oh. Oh, nice. Dispersed industry. Awesome. Grab more construction speed, because we'll need that once we can get more factories back. Advanced machine tools. Good stuff. I could extract stuff. Land auctions coming along nicely. Improved artillery. That's probably important for it. And then we're going to get some more recon. That'll be important as well. Poland refuses German ultimatum. And once the German pulls out, the Germans pull out, it'll be time for us to start attacking. Oh, we got ships down here. Poland, good. Poland joined the Allies. The German tanks have left the scene, which is awesome. I don't want to do this now, but I'm going to do it anyways. Half of production on guns, because we'll get another thousand soon, so that'll be okay. We'll get better guns. Alright, now their attacks have definitely stopped as much. I want to see. Can I potentially break through their lines right here? I want to get this tile back. Oh, and this lean you have. Oh, yep. Good, good, good. I mean, you're already here, guys, so that's good. Artillery's looking awesome. I'm feeling a little confident here that maybe I can switch this out. Perhaps. Oh, that's not good. We got a little bit more infantry equipment, though. And a little bit more support equipment, so that's actually pretty decent. It's time to attack. Uh, actually, you don't attack there. Can we... We can actually beat him back? I mean, they've only lost 800,000 guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. And they still have so much manpower, as far as we know. So much manpower. It definitely helps to hold in one area for a while and just kind of hope and pray... Well, we don't pray here because we're anarchists, but you know, you get our, you get the idea. Take these guys. We can actually go on the offensive. Come on, come on, come on. Beat them back. We want to get that ripper tile back. These guys are veterans. Holy crud. That's awesome. Keep funneling, funneling so more soldiers in. Oh, wait, actually. I don't want to forget. Someone did remind me yesterday. You need to prepare your offensives. I forgot about that. My apologies. German pressure towards the Benelux. Good. Has unplanned offensives. I guess I can't plan offensives right now because it's all grayed out. 
Or really, this is core territory of us that needs to be defended, so whatever. If I need to attack again, I'm going to attack right here. I want to get that river line. Losses. Jesus Christ, that's so much. And they still have so much manpower. Nashville, Spain has a ton of manpower, which I did, kind of didn't expect, not going to lie. Um, they want to keep attacking, which is you know, okay-ish. It's okay-ish. But definitely always don't go that way. Yeah, attack with your strongest divisions. Multiple combats, whatever. And we've got the river line back. Good. Uh, that's a little bit too far. Awesome. Awesome. The fall of... Okay, well, Poland didn't stand a chance. Good. Hope the Allies can do something against Italy and Germany. But now... Actually, Italy out. Yeah, Italy left as well. But Portugal's still here because they don't like getting involved in too many wars. All right. They kind of still want to attack me in some locations. we still got to be careful. Let's, let's not, you know... We can't just do whatever we want. Still can't prepare an offensive, which kind of sucks, but whatever. I don't really care. That's fine. Poland is gone. They survived until October 12th. So be it. The fall of Nanjing. Well, China's not having a good time. Luxembourg joined the Allies. Germany declared war on them. Let's see what happens. Please stop attacking me so I can attack here next, please. You've lost over 900,000 guys. You, you, you have to stop conscripting guys, right? Like, <laughs> they gotta continue conscripting. Holy cow. Belgium joined the Allies. Makes sense. I mean, they're on construction and repair, which is nice and all, but... As they keep attacking me, I keep getting a stronger and stronger and stronger. Which is fine with me, which is good, you know. Anyone have upgrades? Anyone have upgrades? No, that's okay. Attack. <clears throat> no, you guys come right there. Can I send half of you guys to attack this place? Oh, I can. Nice. USSR occupies eastern Poland. Push him out, push him out, push him out. And the Benelux is fully on fire now. Awesome. Oh, you actually you want to attack that way. Oh, you know what? Why not? Let's try that. Help him out. It's actually looking up for us now. At least a little bit. Good. Our death set of guns is completely gone. We finally have a surplus of guns. Oh my god. That's so good. We finally have a surplus. I should not have gotten rid of this division, but whatever. Train it again. Um, awesome. That's really awesome. Uh, concerning this, I'm going to remove this. How much artillery do we have? Not much. None, actually. That's a little better for us. Um, don't have a lot of XP to do stuff now, though. Support equipment? Go and throw some engineers on these guys. The cavalry recon is okay. You definitely want motorized and armored cars. But whatever, you know. We'll work with whatever we have. Our deficit went down to 18. Holy cow. Oh, but, you know, we'll take better engineers anyways. Construction, good. Refineries, synthetic refineries. Artillery, we're doing, which is awesome. We're going to need motorized eventually, too. Improved artillery, awesome. I'm not going to do that because we still have a deficit. But, planes. I'm feeling pretty optimistic about this stuff now. I'm joining with my Spanish cat. My Spanish anarchist cat. Binky. He's loving my bed right now. Cool. Alright, not bad. If I want to feel a little radical, and which we totally are, because we're anarchists, anarcho-communists, hmm, I'm going to come over here. And you know what? I'm going to try to smash my way this way. I'm going to try an encirclement. It's taken me up until November 19th, 1939, for me to finally try and potentially be successful in making or doing or conducting an encirclement. Nice, they have six divisions here. They can't beat us. Uh, help them out here anyways. Good. Don't let them move any further. Come on, you guys got this. You guys got this. Uh, throw everyone here. Netherlands is gone. Germany's definitely on the offensive. Uh, we might not be able to make an instrument just yet. That's okay. That's okay. Just hold for now. Hold for now. That's okay. Let them think that they can win. Oh, what's going on down here? We have a little bit of fuel. Let's see what's going on. Uh, convoy rating probably won't... Oh, actually, convoy rating might be okay, but... Nah. I was thinking about, you know, sinking stuff going to Mallorca, but that probably won't happen. Good. Keep attacking. Keep attacking. They've lost over a million 
Man, I mean, that's insane. Uh, we can't buy more... Do we need to buy more guns? Uh, we'll be okay, just in, just in case. Just in case. We definitely don't need any more war support, which is fine. Oh, my goodness. <clears throat> Luxembourg is gone, which actually is a pretty good defense. I mean, for Luxembourg, for like the past month, it's not bad. They still have so much manpower. I'm not sure what's going on with Germany, or really the nationalists, but whatever. Put everyone up here. I still want to attack that tile. Oh, they're definitely attacking us here, which isn't good. <gasps> we have another division. Awesome. The conscripted Moroccan soldiers. Uh, throw you right there. I don't know where else to put you. Belgium's capitulated. Uh, you know what? Throw you down there, because you could probably definitely need that help. Definitely need that. Artillery is looking okay. We got an okay thing of guns. German interest in Scandinavia. I really doubt I can push my way into here. Denmark is it on fire. Norway's on fire. Send half you guys to attack that way, maybe. Come on. Come on, please give me something. Nope, you're not gonna win. That's okay. That's okay. You guys stop, 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 stop. Good. I might consider just attacking that tile next, actually. Let's let time go on. It was January 1940. The Spanish Civil War is still going on in 1940, my friends. It is definitely one of those campaigns. <laughs> oh, God. France is just dying quickly. Germany, I hope you got a little bit of a nerf when La Resistance or Husky came out. But, uh, they're doing really well. <laughs> I don't like the position we're in right now, to be honest with you, because then Germany's going <laughs> to be on our northern border, or, you know, bitchy France, and it's just, uh, that's, not, that's not very good. That's not good, man. That's not good. Oh, we can actually get another general, maybe. Or, commune, I should say. Army regrouping, more recovery rate? That could be pretty good. Oh, I'd love to do this, but we can't do that. Nas has not completed Masters of Our Own Fate. Alright, how about Chief of the Army? Some of these guys, yeah. We'll never be able to get more defense. How about more attack? Oh, Council of Theorists, more daily army XP. Oh, actually, that's not too bad. Attack and wait. Let's do this. Council of Theorists. I like that. Fall of Paris. France is gone. Now, whenever I play vanilla, usually I don't ever see Vichy France. So it'll be interesting to see Vichy France. Welcome back. Occupation costs. Oof. Death of Rudolf Hess. Well, he didn't die. But, you know what? Most people don't even know that. Oh! We lost a destroyer. We sunk two thingies here. I'll go home. We don't have enough screens for all this. Oh, well. Actually, did you see a lot of ships? <clears throat> no, you have a lot of experience, though. Uh oh hold on. We don't want to be overzealous here. We gotta make sure we guard appropriate areas. <clears throat> uh oh, unfilled import requests. Steel. Oh, that's why. Steel. Soviet Union. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't mind trading for that because that won't really matter too much. Artillery's positive. Let's get some better artillery. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. So they've lost 1.12 thousand. Is the, the counter's got to be broken or something. They can't be continually mobilizing more and more men, right? That, that doesn't make, make, make any sense. Ah, construction 3. Iceland takes control of foreign affairs. It's 1940. We're going to grab research speed. The anarchists, they don't give up without a fight. Like, an extreme fight at that. I want that river line as well. Good, keep throwing more soldiers in there. Some of their divisions, they're just incredibly weak. They can't produce enough guns. That's the main thing, actually. Which is good. This is not good, though. Come on, keep holding, keep holding. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. No worries. We definitely need more divisions. Oh, no location set. Uh, for you guys, just come there. Um, well, okay, I can't assign them there, so just go there. Uh, it really doesn't matter since when the war ends, all those, all these extra divisions will be deleted anyways. So nice. Grab a few more guns. That'll be important. Just, in, just to make sure that we have a nice, steady modifier or surplus of guns always with us. Good, good, good. 
Oh, they're, oh, they might have gone down a little bit, but maybe not. Mechanized offensives, good. Shock and awe. Recon gets more recon, but you need recon to get more recon. More soft attack. Airland battle, heart attack's okay. We don't really need that. This set's just always okay. It's not great. Shock and awe. Shock and awe it is. Alright, can I plan some offensives? Please? No? Hmm. Finland accepts Soviet demands, huh? Hmm. Oh boy, that's not good. <clears throat> Keep reducing your own strength. They're attacking with 10 divisions, which is quite a bit. Oh boy. I want to attack here still, but I know we can't. I know for a fact that we cannot. Which really sucks. But, oh, radar, I like that. Can't even build it. Can't even use it. So, let's get some soft attack. Defense and breakthrough. Definitely defense and breakthrough. I want to attack here and come up there, perhaps. Guns are looking good. Artillery, we have a small deficit. Get some more guns. Awesome. Oh, they're attacking up north as well. We've lost oh, around 200,000. They've lost 1.2... 8 million, almost 1.3 million, which is glorious. Ooh. But I definitely need to, I definitely need to move my soldiers around. I'm going to risk losing this area cuz I need to keep moving this way. Good, good, good. Let them attack us. Well, they except right there cuz that's actually extremely weak. So we got to keep an eye on this group. Because these divisions, they just need a break. Because these guys can, they can do pretty well. And they're only, you know, six combat with, which isn't great, but, you know, that's okay. Let's see. Now, it does thin out our line just a little bit more. Uh, but can they actually win? They might be able to. <clears throat> but the losses, are the losses worth it? No, not really. It's not worth it. I just, I don't see that much of a way for me to be extremely successful here, like, to continue pushing. I'm definitely going to go for infantry expert now, but, oh, there goes Yugoslavia, good. <clears throat> hmm, these guys are still doing okay. You know what, I might just be able to push here, hold on. Okay. Just kick these guys out. You should, yeah, I would definitely win there. Motorized, awesome. Interwar armor, huh. I don't have the means to produce that, so no. Let's just get more soft attack. Good, that actually does help out. Let's see. And we might do to take some other factories, perhaps? If we take Zaragoza, perhaps? Perhaps? 1.37. You just lost another 10,000 manpower. It doesn't even matter to them, because they have, like, infinite manpower or something. Uh, send in the infantry. Especially with that artillery pieces on them. That'll be good. Get a little bit more of that. Improve worker conditions. That'd be a waste of political power. Guns are okay. Artillery's looking... Mm, could be better. That actually helped out a lot. Yeah, that's not bad. Let's see. Where else can I attack? I want to attack in the mounts. Get to Pampelona. I think that'd be worth it. But I still can't do that. Hmm. Hungry during the Axis. Second Vienna Award. Normal stuff. Normal, normal, normal stuff. I definitely want to attack here next, or somewhere here. Try something like that. There you go. Oh, we got another upgrade. That's good for you. Level four. Organization first reinforce rate. Let's get charismatic. Reinforce rate's nice, but let's get some more recovery rate. That could probably actually really help on the line here. All right. I mean, they keep attacking. I mean, they're just crazies. Just a bunch of nuts. You know what I could do? Probably not a good idea. Not you. Make you 20 combat with. Treat of Krayova. This is probably a bad idea, to be honest with you. But let's try it. I'm willing to try new things out. Oh, that's a small deficit. We'll have that done in 20 days. Uh, send you down here. There you go. Let these guys move out of there. That'll be good. You guys are okay. You're coming back. You'll be fine. No worries about that. Oof, this war. 
Yeah, so if you ever want to play Anarchist Paint, I recommend not playing on a historical. Because it's difficult. It's really difficult on historical. Good. Now go ahead and attack. Take these other 9 divisions. Help attack as well. You should be able to win. Give them even a force attack as well. Oh, and you help out too. You should be able to win. I could be. I'm probably wrong about that though. Soprano. Um, transmit speed. Eh, that's okay. If it drops to 74, I will stop the attack. There's still Portuguese soldiers here. Yeah, it's, it's dropping. I, we can't attack. We just can't do anything. We are literally at the mercy of the nationalists who just keep killing off Spaniards. You should have, like, no manpower, but you still have a little bit. Because, yeah, because Portugal's special. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to call it, it an episode right here. Because I'm going to play this a little bit off screen. Um, they can't break us. We can't break them. We're at a stalemate. So, tomorrow, I will show you what has happened, or at least tell you what has happened after I've made at least some sort of breakthrough here in Spain. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. We were so close to dying. I mean, my God, we were extremely close. But anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you Check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow as Aragon will become bigger and greater. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.